The Highway to Salvation. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8 through 10 states, And a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor any ravenous beast. They will not be found there. But only the redeemed will walk there, and those the Lord has rescued will return. They will, will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Many Christians today understand the path to heaven as being a narrow path. They sing a hymnal saying that walk a narrow path and remain happy through the days. However, the Bible calls it a highway, not a narrow path. Indeed, it is a highway, which is the path to heaven. We hope all of you here today will understand what the highway is. Walk on that path to earn heaven. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8 states, And a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fools will not go about on it. The highway is the way of holiness. Because this is the way of holiness, only the holy can walk on that path. Then who are the holy? John chapter 17, verse 17 states, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Those who have been sanctified by God's word are the holy. And it is said that those who are not pure cannot walk on this highway and will not journey or walk on the way of holiness. Only the holy may walk this path of salvation. The unclean cannot. Those without conscience cannot. Liars cannot. Con men cannot. And those who do not know the Bible cannot. Only those who are holy, who comprehend, those who are sanctified can walk and enter through the highway. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 9 states, No lion will be there, nor any ravenous beast. They will not be found there. But only the redeemed will walk there. Those the Lord has rescued will return. If you walk a narrow path, you might come across a lion or a violent animal. But if you're walking a highway, you won't need to worry about that. And that highway can only be walked and journeyed on by someone who has been sanctified. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 10 states, They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Those who walk on that highway will earn eternal happiness and gladness, and will receive the blessing, all sorrow and sighing fleeing. Then let us examine who will walk on the path of the highway. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 5 through 6 states, Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. When it states the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped, it does not mean the physically blind and deaf. It is referring to the spiritually blind and deaf. The spiritually blind and deaf are those who cannot comprehend, even if they read and hear the word. And this means that their eyes will be opened to comprehend the Bible. Their ears will be opened to hear the Bible. And being lame means those who are confused with worries and apprehensions. And the mute tongue shouting for joy refers to those who could not speak a single word of God's word previously, will be able to freely preach of the word. This is a miracle on the level of the burning sand of the desert becoming a pool and the thirsty ground bubbling up springs of water. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 7 states, The burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground bubbling springs, and the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow. That the burning desert became a pool and dried land bubbled springs. How shocking and merciful that this happened! The path of the highway will only open if we go to where the spiritually blind will see and the spiritually deaf will hear. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 9 through 10 states, Be stunned and amazed. Blind yourself and be sightless. Be drunk, but not from wine. Stagger, but not from beer. The Lord has brought over you a deep sleep. He has sealed your eyes, the prophets. He has covered your heads, the seers. 
They were not drunk with wine, and they did not stagger from wine or beer. God made them sleep a deep sleep, and closed their eyes, so they fell asleep spiritually, and they became spiritually blind. However, all of you here today have your spiritual eyes opened and are walking on the highway. When Moses left Egypt in Exodus, he led six hundred thousand, and even though they crossed the dry desert, they were headed towards the promised land, promised to them from God, and so they are walking on the wide highway. Therefore, we can know that the path with God's prophet is the highway. Those without truth. And without the word, are spiritually blind and deaf, and the path they walk is narrow. The Bible says to enter through the narrow gate, not to walk on a narrow path. The path of salvation, which we must walk, is a highway. Isaiah chapter sixty-two verse ten states, "Pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, remove the stones." Raise a banner for the nations, Isaiah chapter fifty-seven verse fourteen states, and it will be said, "Build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people." The Bible is referring to opening a highway for the people of God, and so, in order to walk on this highway, the blind must have their eyes opened, the ears must have their ears opened. And this highway must be prepared and constructed for them. Isaiah chapter forty verse three states, "A voice of one calling in the wilderness: Prepare the way for the Lord; make straight in the desert a highway for our God." To say that God is preparing a path in the desert means that a spring of water is springing forth in the desert. And God preparing a highway in the desert is the opening of an oasis of living water. Where the secret of the highway is open today is where living water springs forth, and a highway to salvation exists. The highway can only be walked on by those who receive salvation, those who will receive eternal happiness and joy in a place where sorrow and sighing flee. We hope all of you here today who have understood the word can be on the path to walk on the wide highway to salvation.